Hi, this is Kathy Quinn with Floriani. Floriani is a division of R&K Distributing, and I want to welcome you to this week's Project of the Week. Well, I hope you all had a wonderful Memorial Day. I hope you all enjoyed extra time with your families. I hope you all were grateful for the sacrifices that many of our men and women in the military have made for us to give us the freedom to enjoy our families today. And I'm looking forward today to talking about a little bit of design manipulation, a little bit of editing. So let's look at what we're going to do today. Now I'm going to come into my library and I'm going to go into my free monthly designs and I'm going to go to May 2016. Then I'm going to go ahead and click on my design tab and there are my free May designs. Now realize a couple more days we'll have our free June, de June designs up. But what I want to focus on is this mason jar. I'm going to drag and drop it over. And I just love the fact that what I see is what I get. I don't have to remember the name of any design. All I have to do is look in a folder. The picture I see, I can pull on over. So now that I've got this here, I'm going to do a couple of things with this design. Well, the first thing is, is you know what? I would like a lemon for another design completely. I want to borrow the lemon out of here. So what is the easiest way to borrow that lemon? Well, the easiest way to work with that, and I'm going to come up here and left mouse click and close, whoops, I closed my browser. That's all right. Close my properties box because I want to be able to see everything here. Now, if you notice, I've got eyeballs that are open looking at you. Now, what this is, is this is the sequence that this design is going to stitch in. And each of these is under its own sequence. So I am going to close the first eye. And I'm going to put it to sleep by clicking on it. I'm going to go ahead and click on the second eye. Click on the third eye. Let's click on the fourth eye. Let's click on the fifth eye. Okay, now if I click on the sixth eye, no, I'm going to leave it up right now. I'm going to go ahead and click on my, I'm going to skip my lemon because I want the lemon. I'm going to get rid of the jar lid. And as you can see, what I have left is I have the lemon and I have this white. Let's look in our sequence view. If we look in this white, you will see that I have got white all in the same sequence. So if I look at this deal, well, I don't need that one. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this. Now, when I delete this, I want you to realize if I was using this, now I have this design in my library, so it's no big deal. But if I look at this and I end up having to delete something, my first uh, order of business would be to save this design under a different name so I wouldn't lose any of the pieces. But just because I'm borrowing, I'm going to show you a couple little tricks here. I'm going to go ahead and delete this. Now I'm going to go ahead and select this steel as well and I'm going to delete that steel and I'm going to go ahead and delete this little run stitch. Because I don't need any of those stitches. All I want is the lemon. So now I'm going to grab my lasso tool up here on my left hand toolbar and I am going to yeehaw lasso my lemon. I'm going to right mouse click to select it. Like right mouse click a little bit too good. We're going to select our lemon, right mouse click. Come on, baby because I've got my little drawing tool on it. kind of gives me a little trouble here sometimes. Well, we're going to go to Edit, Copy. Now I'm going to open a new piece of paper. Right mouse click and paste. So now I have a brand new design that I am going to save as Lemon. So now I have borrowed a Lemon from another design. So realize you can borrow pieces from other designs. Now sometimes, let's go back to this design over here, and you know what? I didn't think to save this to another name. So you know what I could do? Remember, undo is my friend. I could go ahead and undo where I had deleted those, put them back with undo, 
right mouse click over here and tell it to show all and there's my whole design because I realized oh I didn't save this as another design and I didn't want to risk messing anything up Of course, if I go back over here I still have my design that I'm going to rename lemon so what I wanted to show you is any time that you want to get a piece you need a lemon, you need something, and you want to borrow from another design, find what you need and borrow it. Now let me show you what else I could have done here. Let's go ahead again and put everything to sleep here that I don't need. Now we know I need this white. We've already, we've already learned that we need this white. So let's come down here and go ahead and shut off everything else. And put everybody else to sleep. I missed my straw here. Let's go to sleep, little straw. Okay. Where is there? He is. Okay. The other thing I could have done here is I could have come over here to my lasso tool, and because this isn't really close, I could have come in here and done a series of left mouse clicks, clicking around my lemon and you have to make sure you get your whole lemon in there then I could have just selected it there oh I didn't get the white so let's come in here and see why let's go ahead and try it one more time to see if I missed getting something inclusive and it may be stuck to this other white in here Okay, it didn't allow me to do that, so let me show you what else I could have done. I've got the yellow, so let's hold, hold down our control key and just grab the fill here. So this would be the fill and the yellow. So let's see what that does for us. Let's copy, let's get a new piece of paper, and let's paste. Let's see if that grabbed it. Oh, it didn't grab our white. Why? Let's go back and see. Why didn't it grab our white? Let's come in here and grab this. Now I can grab each piece in the, oh, I locked it, that's why. Now this is a good lesson to learn, <laughs> a very good lesson. Do you see these locks? Sometimes when you're clicking on the eye, I did it right here too. These locks are for our uh, protection. That's the best way to put it. That is so that if we want to, um, protect ourselves from messing up something we've already fixed and we don't want to mess with it anymore we can click on the lock and it won't allow us to do anything to that piece so now that I've unlocked it let's go back over here and let's do that again let's go ahead and grab our lasso tool come in here and let's lasso let's see if we can just lasso our lemon no, it still didn't let me lasso just the lemon because it sees, if you notice in the sequence view, it sees this is all one piece. Okay, so let's do this. We didn't ungroup. There's all kinds of little things and I'm going through this because I want you to realize all the pitfalls that we get. So let's ungroup this. So now that it's ungrouped, it's seeing these instead of seeing it as one piece. See, before when I clicked on it, it gave me everything. Now, because I've ungrouped it, it sees these as individual entities. So let's come back here now. Now, there's an easy way I could grab the fill, hold down my control key, and grab the yellow. And that grabbed this from taking it away without deleting anything. Right mouse click copy except for it doesn't want to do that because I've got my little pencil on. So we'll go to edit copy, get a new piece of paper, right mouse click and paste. So now we've turned off colors, we've deleted portions of our design, we undid so those portions would come back in case we hadn't saved it correctly, and we've come in here and we've grabbed the two pieces after ungrouping we grab the white and the yellow so I could borrow this from another design. So let's go back to our original. Let's come up here, 
right mouse click and show all. Now, let's say I want the straw. I want that, I need a straw for another design. So I'm going to come in here and I can see that's the red. I need to find the white part of my straw. Right there it is. Okay, so what I'm going to do is again, I'm going to start putting pieces to sleep. I need this piece open and I'm going to close you and you and you. We're going to put everything to sleep but our straw. And see a lot of times when you're doing this you'll accidentally click on that lock and you'll lock something and it'll make you crazy because you can't figure out why you can't work with something and you don't realize your lock is locked. Now that I have this I'm going to go ahead and select all of this so I've got my straw right mouse click copy work that time open a new piece of paper right mouse click and paste now my straw is here but we've got a problem sometimes when we borrow we've got like this where I've got kind of the the missing hole here so I need to do something about this. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here. Now notice again, what have we got? We've got group problems. I want to work with these individual sections. So I'm going to come up here, up here to the top toolbar, and I'm going to ungroup. Now that I've ungrouped, I'm going to come grab this red right here, and I'm going to delete it. Now I'm going to select this red holding my control key, I'm going to select the white, right mouse click copy, I'm going to right mouse click and paste, and now I'm going to pull that down in here, and now I have by just a little design manipulation I have gone ahead and created a good straw for me so now I can go ahead and use this straw in something else. I could change it, the shape of any one of these if I didn't want my straw to have this little cut off look down here. I could grab this section and I'm going to go ahead and come up here to your view box and I'm going to go to selection and see I kind of scooted it over but that's okay because remember and do as our friend. Now I want to make this straw have a squared off bottom more so I'm going to come to my third icon on my left hand toolbar which is shape and now I'm going to come here now here's the trick your blue boxes are your outlines your black circles with your line is your angle that your stitches are following and then you have a red and green which are start and stop. Well really all I want to work with is my outline. So let me show you a trick so I don't have to start moving. See I've got a little control box right here but it's underneath. So I'm going to right mouse click and I'm going to say I just want to edit outlines. So it's going to remove my angle line, my start and my stop and it's going to make it easier for me to come in here and start moving these where I want them. So I'm going to kind of move this over and when I hit enter that is going to fix my little straw. There we go. So now I have gone ahead. I'm going to fit this to screen now. So now I have reshaped that section of my straw. So you can do this with anything. If you need to borrow a leaf and then you need to kind of reshape it. Maybe you had two leaves that were over and you have a gap in there. Very simple to go to an existing design and play with borrowing pieces. So let's go back and just think. Of course this one is our original design. So we have to right mouse click and tell it to show all. So there's my original design. Now we've learned we can close eyeballs, go by the colors or the segments. If I have extra things in a segment I don't want, I can either delete or maybe I can just select those pieces, which was easy here. Um, we've learned to ungroup, 
watch out for your locks and group and ungroup are always right here at the top but watch out for your locks because if something's not working for you chances are you've made the mistake of locking it so always check your locks we've learned how to use our shape tool that lets us see our control points where we can change the angle the outline and we could move a start and stop point. Now this is a very simple little lesson but it doesn't matter how complicated the design is that you're borrowing from as long as you know how to get the piece you want and to edit any holes like our straw had the missing stitches here all you need to know are those two things. So I hope you enjoyed this week's lesson and I look forward to seeing you again next week.